I think a lot of people struggle with like some of the competitive aspects of chess and dealing with competition in general. And uh, it's something that I've, you know, kind of taken for granted because I've been competing since I was a kid and it's always been pretty straightforward for me. You know, like some games you play well and you win, some games you don't play well and, and you lose and, you know, that kind of hurts. But, you know, whatever, that's that's, that's how it goes. You know, <laughs> like it feels good when you win and it, don't, it doesn't feel good when, when you lose. But I think for a lot of like players and especially like adults getting into the game, they're, uh, they just don't know how to like deal. And maybe it's because they never competed in, in other stuff or maybe it's because they competed like too much and you know, there's just like too much pressure I, I honestly don't know everyone's different um, but yeah it feels like a lot of people have a lot of expectations for themselves and then chess is like this thing where it's like oh you know it's like tied to uh, one's perception of, uh, of their intelligence right so it's like oh if, you know if you're a good chess player you kind of feel like people see you in, in a certain light and, and then if you're not a good chess player then it kind of means the opposite of that and so it's like yeah if you're tying your self-worth to your uh, chess ability um, and you only recently just started playing chess and all of a sudden you're like well now I have to, I have to like perform well you know or otherwise you know what does that say about my intelligence I think that's just like a really dangerous com combination uh, because I think what determines chess strength is chess experience right so it's like if you're if you don't have a lot of experience in the game, it really doesn't matter what your, you know, IQ is or whatever. It's like, you're just not going to be that, that good. Like, that's just how chess works. It's like a game and like largely uh, dependent on like pattern recognition, especially when you're starting out, you know, it has nothing to do with how clever or like smart you are. You know, it might help you like a little bit, like in certain situations, you might understand some concepts like a little bit faster than the average person, but like in general, like, you know, your chess strength is dependent upon how many puzzles you've solved, how many games you've analyzed, you know, how deeply you've engaged with the game and so on and so forth. Right. But of course, if you're a beginner chess player, you don't actually know that. Right. <laughs> you don't have the experience or the wisdom to understand that to you. It's just like, oh, well, I'm, you know, you know, it's just a game and like, OK, I, could, yeah, I, pick, I pick stuff up pretty quickly. And that's just <laughs> so to me, I think that can kind of lead to issues where people are expecting to do really well and then they don't do as well as they're expecting and then it just like crushes them but it's like well, I mean you really shouldn't I mean it's just like that's just how, how it goes chess is a very logical game it's like one of the things we love about it is that it's not based on luck you know it's not like you can play really well and then you just get unlucky and then you'll lose no, for the most part if you play really well you'll you'll gain points you won't win every single game but for the most part you know you'll you'll go up if you're if you're playing well um, so it's like, it feels like it's a very kind of, uh, fair game in that sense, um, which can be humbling, can be humbling for people. So long story short, you know, definitely I think folks should be careful about putting too much pressure on themselves, especially in terms of like the rating, because like the rating is very objective. The rating is a number and it's not going to do what you want it to do, right? It's just going to reflect your results. That's it. So um, and that's okay. That's fine. You know, if you have a bad tournament or a bad performance, it just means you have more to work on. Like, that's just how it goes. And that's fine. Every, every single chess player in history that got to a good level made lots of mistakes on their way up and lost lots of games and had to learn from those games. And, and that's how they got the, that experience by losing a lot of games and learning from them. So, you know, one approach is to expect to win all your games and then be disappointed afterwards. <laughs> yeah. And the other approach is to realize like, wait, actually like it's a learning process and you know, there's going to be ups and downs. And, you know, if I just try to learn from every game, then eventually, uh, eventually I'll get there. And if not, I still enjoy playing the game and it's still fun to play. So, um, you know, just the act of playing and analyzing is, is already all I need. I think that, that makes up for a much, 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 much healthier attitude um, overall. Okay, uh, rant over. <laughs> Hopefully that, I don't know who needed to hear that, but I hope that helped someone out there.